I'm Matthew Thomas. You are watching Super Cool Radio. I am behind the smokestack in the sketchiest area possible, but I found Kingdom Collapse. Yeah. They're here with me. Uh, so anyone not familiar with them, they got a huge single entitled Unbreakable. It's been on uh, Octane. It has been pretty much everywhere. They are from uh, San Antonio, Texas. So please welcome Kingdom Collapse. Hell yeah. What's up, man? It's an to be here. How you doing? So, uh, making up Kingdom Collapse, we got Jonathan, Eli, David, and Aaron. Aaron. There we go. Totally. Aaron. 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 That's how I remember it. <laughs> totally, totally knew all those names. Didn't need any help. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. So we're here at Rock the Rescue. I know Music for a Cause put together this really awesome show. We got, you know, obviously you guys, War Within. They got a bunch of great bands. So how does it feel being back playing live music? Feels great. I mean, after a year and a half, almost two years of not really much activity, uh, it's nice to, to get back out here and, and uh, do it full steam, you know? Yeah. yeah, man, we've been rehearsing the show since like January, February. Really? Just every, yeah, nonstop getting ready for June, which is our first show, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah late June, June 16th, we kicked it off, yeah. and since then, this is our, yeah, fifth or sixth show. There, yeah. Yeah. And what I've really noticed about you guys, like, you guys have, like, super blown up from, like, following you guys, like, from earlier this year when this show was announced until where we are now, you guys have, like, super, like, blown up. Dude. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're, we're Thank fortunate. you, man. Um, but you guys have been working very hard. I know, like, yeah. you were talking to me earlier about, like, the stuff that's been going on, but you guys are very, like, hardworking when it comes yes. to just everything. You're an independent band, and you just put, like, all the effort into being a band. Yeah, yeah. So, like, since Unbreakable came out, like, everything we've released has been independent, DIY, you know, self-produced, basically, and we've had labels that have approached us and all that, but it just hasn't made sense, you know, so... We figure, in the meantime, like we're doing every single thing we can do on our own. You know, and I think that's that's the biggest key to su success right there is working hard, yeah. not just getting an opportunity handed to you. Exactly what he was saying. It's like a lot of bands, I think they, sometimes they're scared, they want to rely on the label or rely on someone to do it for them, but it's like, you got to bet on yourself, you know, if it means putting money in, touring, doing all the above on your own, then the industry will come to you. You just got to believe in yourself. Yeah. You know, like yeah. you create the opportunity yourself, then you don't need theirs. You yes. know what I mean? And, and like, I, I just really like like you guys' uh, your work ethic. Just like everything you guys have done have been yourself. So like, what are like some of the challenges and advantages of being an independent band? Uh, honestly, like this day and age, it's a lot a lot easier you know to do than than maybe it was 20 years ago. Or, but um, but yeah, I mean. We're doing, I mean, we're on Big Ends, we're on Octane, yeah. we're on the stations, we're, we got the streams, we got the views, we got the tour dates, we got, you know, what else is there? You know, that starts too from Jonathan when he had suffered in 2018, first big yeah, song that happened. Break. Yeah, so that, that was a huge, huge step. And now it's like we're a functioning business, it's like we have a van, we have, you know, it's like, again, no help, just ourselves. That, Four dudes hitting the road. It's finally yeah. moving itself. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we're very it's fortunate, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. You guys made it that. But dude, that yeah. means, honestly, hearing you say that means a lot to me and probably to everyone with how you see the work ethic because we pride ourselves yeah. on that. Like, we want to be one of the hardest working bands out there, you know? Yeah. Regardless if there's an entity behind us or not. Like, yeah. Who, yeah, during the whole pandemic, I mean, people could have been sitting around doing nothing the whole time, but uh, the, the entire time during the pandemic, we were getting together every single week, twice a week, maybe. Uh, just pushing preparing through and, for and preparing for the return. So, yeah, I mean, no downtime. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unbreakable, yeah. I remember like uh, demoing that one out and I sent it over to David. I sent him that one and a couple of, uh, a batch of ideas at once. And he was like, okay, these are awesome, but unbreakable though. <laughs> and I was like, I think we got our single. <laughs> sure out, enough, we got a goddamn big one. <laughs> <laughs> Number 11 right now, we'll find out. And- 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, you guys were just yeah, telling me about that, about being on Octane, <laughs> which is badass. In it, you know, just being on Sirius XM is just like badass, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Especially for like an independent band to, to actually do that. Like, actually, like you guys have got so much fan support, a super loyal fan community. Like, I've talked to yes. other people who are fans of Kingdom Collapse, and like, we always kind of just, you know, it's always like the same thing. It's just like they've been putting in the work, they've been blowing up, and they're always happy, like, they're on Sirius. Yeah. And what's yeah. cool with that, man, is like we've had, this is our third song on Octane now. First one was Payback, Uprise, now Unbreakable, and each time, it's like Octane keeps giving us more and more love. Yeah. So, you they know, like, they're seeing every it. Every night, Jose is talking about the upcoming Nonpoint tour, and he's like, this band's opening up for Nonpoint, our friends from San Antonio, you know, it's like, yeah. so you can tell he's stoked on it, and he believes, I think there's something he respects about the, the work ethic, and I think that's really what's taking us from, you know, the local level to the national level, um, is, is the fact that, you know, you know we won't take no for They an believe answer. in the product. Exactly. Yeah. 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 What they're saying too, the, again, the work ethic, it's like, we drove 19 hours to play this one show, right? We got offered to come play, and we're like, yes, we're going to come play. There's we'll play wherever you go. Like, yeah, we're going to do There's it. tons yeah. of fans in, out, this, in this area yes, that there, have been waiting, actually is. you know, yeah. to see us for yeah. the last two years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, especially during the pandemic, like, that's when this thing was booked. And we are like, hell yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Yeah. And, like, you know, here we are. Here yeah. we are. I, I know, uh, obviously, good friends of you guys, Scott. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Stop, also dude. friends with that guy. Yep. He's yep. an awesome dude. Loves music, and that's what like I love. You know, I love people who just like love music for the love of music. Yeah. Which, right? Uh, talking to you guys before this, that is also your guys' love is for mu- the yeah. music. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Man. That's well, what we, we do, man. Your sport and uh, I mean your company support too, man. That's, that's it's amazing. Thank that, you. But hey, I would be I, nothing I, without it. That's for damn sure. No music, cool. and I'm done. <laughs> ah, he's done it. He's done it. Well, I'm glad we were talking about this for. I, we we're talking about an interview. I don't know how long it's been. Like two. I, I think it was like almost two months. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we we're gonna do it digitally. I was that. that you know, obviously, you guys have been super Got busy. Got the real deal. And now we're actually here in a back sketchy yeah. alley. So I mean, it's Heck even yeah. better. As yeah. it should be. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, whole de- the whole decor going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it's a nice backdrop. It's a nice brick wall. I think it actually yeah, turned out all right. Dope. But I do, I want to talk about Unbreakable because I love that song. I featured it on my last Super Cool Radio on Air show. Uh, so how was it writing and recording? What was the writing process for Unbreakable? That was written probably about a month or two after I had COVID uh, oh, really? last year. And yeah, I just started looking back at different life things like crazy shit that life throws at you yeah. right from losing a loved one to these different things to relationships to uh your you know your health and all these things uh, and realizing that those things made you incredibly stronger where it's like you don't the second time around you don't fear those things like you might have the first time because you've been, you've been through it you made it out the other side and it's like okay you know yeah, can man. Do this. And that's like our whole the independent thing and just doing it on your own, getting through stuff. Be it if you're in a band, whatever your career path is, whatever your relationship status is, you're always going through stuff, but you got to remember that you can get through it. Like, there's no challenge big enough to let you stop. There is a there is that tenacity. Yes. Yeah. If you love it, you'll keep doing it. Man. Yeah. If you love it. And, and that really comes out in the song because that's what actually, like, that's what you guys, again, we we're talking about work together. We talked talk about a lot in just the last eight minutes. But it comes out in that song too. Yes. Well, that's good. Hell yeah. <laughs> we, fought, we did it right. Yeah, I, I remember hearing, like David heard, the, hearing that demo for the first time when that bridge came in. Like Jonathan, oh, yeah. I feel like pushed himself vocally on this one more than he had previously. I a too far. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, like you said, you feel that. And you watch that's the video. You see people holding <laughs> up the signs for yeah. divorce, depression, oh, all we that. Oh, David right here. When, when Jonathan on. and I trade off vocals during the that bridge, like I get goosebumps still to this day. I really do. Like oh, yeah. it's just one it's of those, that emotion in that there. line. Um, when I when I that light bulb came off you know I felt the hurt I felt the pain I felt life slip through my hands that line is basically um, talking about when I was eight years old I was in the same room I saw my dad die right and and you know your whole world right there that you know it 
just like, what the, what the fuck just happened, right? And so that that line right there is is that feeling of when you, your stomach sinks, and you know, I've, I've you felt rock bottom, you know, you know. So a lot of people can relate to the honesty um, yes. in that, you know, struggles and all that stuff. That's not, you know, everybody goes through it, and it sucks. And then put, you know, the last line of it, of that bridge is, but I'm not looking back. And I think Absolutely. it's important to not dwell on it yeah. and to just keep moving forward. Yeah, and I, I think it came out at such the perfect time where, like, people were kind of, like, you know, getting going through this pandemic. And, like, people were really just starting to feel down and down and down. And kind of just reminding them that, like, you can get through this. Yeah, right, yeah, dude. Yeah. What's, what's Any, cool is we got... That was a heavy there's, accident. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of bangers, like, sitting in the vaults, too, waiting. But we Ooh. felt with Unbreakable exactly what you said. Like, the timing, the message, everything. Coming out of the pandemic, like, everyone's felt it in some way. Oh, yeah. Everyone's been affected by it, just, like, all of last year. If, if someone said they weren't affected by it, they're obviously lying. Right. It affected every kind of... Just the whole world. Yeah. yeah. Everybody was affected by it. Yeah. yeah. And it still is. So, I mean, oh, yeah. to, to the fans uh, and everybody else that listens to the song, keep pushing on. I mean, that's what this song is about. It, it's about the tenacity of, of life and, and just push on past it because if you don't, then, I mean, there's no point. Like, you, you really yeah. need to push on. And certain because, songs can help you, you yeah, know, in yeah, certain yeah. ways. Like, especially during the COVID thing, it's like, what are you doing? Well, you're trapped in a house. I want to I want to <laughs> listen to some music right now. Yeah. And I need something exactly. to pick me up. Yeah, I got to turn and, the news off, listen to some music. That's yeah. kind of what we started yeah. finding out too is like, you know, back to the our first little break with Suffer and like uh, hearing a lot of people's stories of how our music, you know, helped help motivate them through these things. I think that's really become like, you know, it's one of those things where sometimes you're so close you don't realize what you have, but then it sometimes takes an outside perspective and it's like, wow, that makes it so much more rewarding to know that like this stuff is helping people through, you know. Uh, rely on your life. Rely on your friends. Rely on your family. That's rely a lot of, on yeah. With Kim you know, Collapse, like our message, it's about we all go through stuff. Like stuff for all these songs are about it, but it's not about having a pity party. It's, it's about yeah. picking yourself up it's and getting out of it. It's not about there. It's about it's about make, getting out of that pit. Yeah, it, it's very it's very in, uh, inspirational and like positive, which I think what more I think what the world needs is more positive. So what's silly is people hear heavy music, loud riffs and screaming, they think, oh it's just negative. It's like, dude, just listen. Yes. Like life listen is actually, life is negative. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. This is how we're fucking choosing to turn it into something positive. Yeah. yeah exactly. If you listen to the lyrics, there's a lot like you'll you'll hear the honesty and uh, the, the message at the end is is yeah. always uplifting. Yeah. Yeah. Always yes. something to pull you out. It's so. it's honest about that that life is not always easy, it's not always pretty, right? But it doesn't stop there. Exactly. So no, definitely, uh, if anyone has listened to Unbreakable, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link for the uh, for Unbreakable in the description of this video because I could do that because of technology. Yeah, <laughs> that's super cool, out. man. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Did it again. Cool. Hell uh, yeah. So there's some. I know we were talking, uh, Eli. We were talking about this earlier before the interview. I so brain freeze. we're we're here at Rock the Rescue. It is 90 some degrees. I'm pretty sure in the shade. And uh, now it's 88. Oh, it's 80. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'll just leave. Plus the humidity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a weatherman, but I probably could guess about the same. Uh, so, what can, what can we expect from a Kingdom Collapse show? And uh, also that it's 90 degrees out. <laughs> High energy. High you guys energy, are outside. Lots of sweat. Big old water jug. <laughs> yeah. Let's yelling. Let, letting your demons out, man. Yeah. And getting to do it in a in a functional manner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Eli's got that. He's got that woo woo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, we'll say this, we played, this is our sixth, sixth show this year, yeah. and dude, each show keeps getting better and better, and we all bring our own kind of intensity yeah. to the show. You're gonna, you're gonna dig it. I, yeah, first time seeing it. you guys, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm, I'm already dehydrated and have no electrolytes left, and it's like two in the afternoon. Oh yeah, we got 247, sorry, I know you're technical. 247, <laughs> so, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. I, I'm hoping to still be alive by then. I might melt, I don't know. Uh, we can just stay in this alley back here. Yeah, yeah, maybe get mugged. We'll see. <laughs> Don't worry, we got your back. Come on, get him, guys. Hey, David's got him. Pow, pow! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I know you guys have a lot of cool stuff uh, coming up. I know you're going to be going on a tour with Nonpoint coming up. Yeah. Yeah. How does that feel uh, to be playing on tour with Nonpoint? It's awesome. That whole lineup, basically, Nonpoint, Saul, Any Given Sin, Dropout Kings, they're all a bunch of bands that. Uh, 
are kind of in the same, obviously the same scene that yeah. you know, up and coming, a lot, you know, non-point's been around, but uh, oh, yeah. Saul, any given sin, we're kind of in that same boat, and it's cool to see that now that everything's returning, that all the momentum that started during the pandemic wasn't, you know, didn't fizzle out. It's like here we are. We yeah. can actually do this now. Yeah, it's coming back heavy. Like all the shows I've been to post-pandemic, like I saw Everclear uh, in Fort Wayne, and like the crowd was like super hot the whole time. Every band, yeah, right. they were super hot. Like I, I know, I, I don't know if you guys watch wrestling, but like just if you watch the crowds live. But they're like everybody, like every show, every event you go to, they're all like super hot that they actually want to be back. Yeah, and that's what I love. Like I saw the like that whole CM Punk. Yeah, there's like fifteen thousand people that, there. The yeah. crowd went nuts. It was insane. Yeah. Just and that was through the TV. Like you know, obviously not being there, but like just hearing that reaction. And feeling that uh, even just through the TV, like the crowds are bad. Man. It is. It's refreshing yeah. to I see that in this type of music, man. Yeah. It really is. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think people like I think they took going out to live shows for granted. So now that like, you didn't have shows for a year and a half, two years, now people are like, we're gonna we're gonna give 110 percent effort from this crowd because we're back. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. it's crazy to to see what music does to people, especially when yeah. you remove it from them for the longest time. Then all of a sudden you're you're like, I, I just need it in my life. I need Touch. to see it. And I need it to hear it. Yeah. Y'all hear this song? Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool cover next door. And uh, I'm about to start breakdancing. Right Super cool. <laughs> that That's right. Headlining. We're gonna, you're going to hear this song and uh, can you collapse? No. No. Nope. I'll tell you what, we'll do a metal version. Metal version. I think you guys could do it really well. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't hear any confidence in that. Yeah. He was like, yeah. next question. <laughs> but dude, the, the non point thing, we're pretty yes. stoked. Like every like he was saying, every band on that tour is on Octane. Yep. And non point's doing this cool thing where they're interviewing all the bands with them. Like they're really, oh, really? trying to like they yeah. Eli and I were last this past this Wednesday, past Wednesday, Dave, oh, wow. the Wednesday before, and it's just yeah. basically like an icebreaker. So when we go out on the road, it's not like Strangers, who are you? Everyone's yeah. gonna know everybody. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's and that's just, awesome. That, yeah. That's how like you really, you're not only building the scene, but you're also pushing it forward. You're yeah, progressing exactly. this. Non Point did a really cool thing with that and, and oh, yeah. pushing on with yeah, that. Because I'm, I'm 29. I saw Non Point when I was six, like 13 years ago. I saw them the first time, and they're still throwing down and yeah. killing it. That's nuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They always um, do. I love them. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I want to see them, but I haven't got to see them yet. I'm about to like stop. Oh, they're yeah. great, man. You'll, you'll yeah. enjoy them. You'll enjoy them. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I know they're coming like Fort Wayne on Tuesday. I don't know if I can swing that, but is know. it this Tuesday? No, uh, it's, or next Tuesday, uh, September. So Tuesday, oh. September. I'm pretty sure. It's a Tuesday. That's all I remember. Yeah, it's starting soon. Yeah, it is coming up. So yeah, definitely look, look for King Collapse on the upcoming tour. See them live when you can. They might they might play a cover of uh, something, or they just won't. <laughs> or they I'll just dance won't. to it on TikTok. <laughs> <me out> there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so please check out Shoes Bucket Live King Collapse. See them live when you can. Uh, so how are you guys gonna close out this year before I wrap up this interview? Um, because you guys have been killing it lately. Touring, wrapping you know wrapping the year up with with all that, and then getting TikToks. ready for. Getting ready for next Definitely year. Definitely TikTok. I mean, hopefully, you it's know, some big addiction. festivals <laughs> next year, more tour dates, uh, yeah. more new music with the new album next year. Yeah, man. So. Oh, new album. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got the next, we already got the next single ready to go. I mean, oh. in line, like, Unbreakable's doing its thing. We're going to ride that out, and then uh, we're going to. Any kind of timeline? Slap on? your mom in the face again. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't release it yet, but. <laughs> It's gonna be out pretty soon. Pretty any soon. any kind of timeline on that? No, 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 no. no. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. But all right. it is ready though. We're not it is teasing all ready you. To go. We are teasing Time you. Yeah, you are definitely teasing. What do you mean? Time. Yeah. That's when we're gonna release it. But you know like, why? Because we don't have a label telling us when. On Tuesday. Exactly. I'll tell you that. On, on Tuesday. On Tuesday. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll drop it at Wednesday at 2.57 a.m. <laughs> yes, when it's 88 degrees outside. Yes, yeah. here in Indiana. When no one's up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, be on the lookout for that. I will obviously keep you guys up to date because I may be a huge fan of them. Maybe. Thank you for having us on. We appreciate it. Yeah, of Stay course. super cool. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, guys, so much. See ya. And, of course, I'm the host, Matthew Thomas. Thank you for watching. Do we have any serious XM Octane listeners in the house? Come on, make some so this next song, the sound we had the privilege of sitting in that van earlier today and listen to this song come in at number nine on the yeah. top 15 biggest yeah. I got it. We're an independent band, so we're really.
fucking proud of that. Yeah, good, man. <laughs> if you know it, sing along. Yeah. This one's called Oh, <laughs> 